what is going on guys welcome back to another video um i'm actually down in the villages right now where i'm going to be staying at for the 2020 usl2 season but um i'm sure all of you guys know that the sporting events have been pushed back to at least may 10th for now and uh that means our season has been postponed for a little bit so i'm actually going to be heading back home for the next couple weeks until all this kind of settles over um, I've been down here for a little over a week now, and I've just been trying to get settled in. In the mornings, I get up around 7.30, 8. Usually, I work out, then try and head up to the field around 9, 9.30. Then I'll uh, train for about two, two and a half hours, come home. And then I've actually been working a little part-time job in the afternoons um, with a guy who does a lot of kind of handyman construction kind of work. So I've been working with him in the afternoons from about 2.30 to 8.30, so usually about five, six hours. And uh, so far it's been pretty good. I've been loving it down here and everything. But um, I did talk to the villages again today and everything is going to be postponed for the next couple weeks, you know, maybe up to two months. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and head back home. I've gotten pretty much all the money that I need to have for being down here. Um, so all that's, you know, working out, going to plan. So since I've got all that done, there's no sense for me to keep working down here, especially um, around this area. I don't want to be at risk of getting the coronavirus because it's all about staying healthy and everything right now. So I am going to be heading home tomorrow. I'll go ahead and work today and that'll be my last day for a little while of working. And then I'll just be going home. Um, doing some at-home workouts, still trying to train, you know, stay healthy, stay on my diet, do everything that I normally would do. Um, now's not the time to slack off because this could end, you know, pretty pretty much as fast as it came. So uh, hopefully, you know, it will go soon and then I'll be, you know, fit and all of us, you know, be fit and ready to go for whenever the season does start back up. And uh, hopefully all that will keep going to plan because our first game for the Villages wasn't actually until May. We had our Open Cup in about a week, but the main USL2 season wasn't going to start until May. So everything should be going to plan. I was talking to them today and they said that everything should still be going um, good. It might just be delayed by a couple weeks and we might just not have as much um, team training to prepare. But nevertheless, the season should continue. So it's all about staying fit, staying healthy and all that stuff, um, you know, to be ready for whenever it does kick back up. I'm gonna keep this short. Just wanted to come on here and give you guys a little bit of an update, but I will go ahead and show you kind of a little room tour and uh, show you how I kind of have everything set up. Even though I am gonna be leaving, um, I'm gonna keep all my stuff down here. So that way, whenever they tell us we're good to go, I'll come back down here and then get ready for training. So let me go ahead and show you guys a little tour. Got the kitchen, really nice. And then over here, we kind of got a little den area, dining room, living room, all that good stuff. And then my room is through the hallway down here. Come in here, you've got bed, little nightstand over there, little table right here sink bathroom there are my work pants because i do do construction so they get a little dusty so i just set them in there so that way they don't dirty up um, my closet and everything there's the closet right there then you kind of come over and then you've got um ottoman i've already got most of my clothes packed up and ready to go um then i got a little couch over there a little fan brought my dresser from home down um, all that is my grandparents. Uh, that's for their house up there in Georgia because they do have a second house up there. Um, so they got all that that they're going to be taking up. Then I got my little desk right here with my computer and all that stuff and a little shoe rack. And uh, yeah, it's not a bad little setup at all. So I've really been enjoying it down here. If you guys have never been to the villages, um, any of you guys who are from Florida, if you guys haven't been to the villages, it's super beautiful down here. Um, there's so many cool things um, to do down here and everything. Um, I've just been training though, but the fields out here that you can go to are really, really nice. So I've been enjoying that. And uh, so far everything's been good, but since the coronavirus outbreak, you know, has hit, there's no sense of me staying down here, especially not gonna be able to work. So just gonna work today for my last day for a little while. I'm gonna be heading back home 
and then just gonna be getting ready for whenever the season does officially start. But like I said, I just wanted to keep this video short just to kind of give you guys an update. Um, that's gonna go ahead and be it for this video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe. I'm praying for all of you guys. I'm praying that this ends soon. Um, everybody that's been affected by it, my prayers go out to all of them. And uh, maybe any of you guys who know anybody who has been affected by it, um, sending out prayers and best wishes that uh, people do get better and everything. And hopefully this will end soon. You know, for us athletes and for everybody really, you know, this, you know, is putting a hold on pretty much life. The whole world is pretty much on lockdown and uh, it's not ideal for anybody. So just praying for everyone and praying that this will end soon. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Just a quick little update. Hopefully you guys do well. Um, that's gonna be it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.